Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about brow products. Um, brow products to me are very important, especially when I am on the go and I'm trying to do something very quickly. I don't have time to fill them in. These are products that I really like going to use because they're very practical, they're very easy to use, and they make such a huge difference um, within a few seconds of applying them. The two products that I'm talking about is the Benefit Gimme Brow and this Maybelline Brow Precise um, Fiber Volumizer. Now, these two products are very similar, but in my opinion, they're not exact. And I'm going to show you the way that they work um, and the finishes on my brows in the demonstration. Um, these products, both are supposed to have fibers in them to thicken up your brows and make them look fuller. And I think to some point, they kind of do that in a similar way, but um, as you'll be seeing in the demonstration, this one, I believe that the fibers really do attach very well to the brows and make them look fuller. This one, on the other hand, I feel like just really adds a tint to the eyebrows and that makes them look darker and fuller. Um, but as far as the two products, I think that they're excellent products. Either way you go, you're going to get really good results in my opinion. I will say that this Brow Precise by Maybelline is probably my favorite over this one. Benefit Gimme Brow retails $24 on Ulta or Sephora. And this Maybelline um, Brow Precise Fiber retails for about $9 through Ulta. Um, you might be able to get it a little bit cheaper through Target or Walgreens or CVS depending on if they're having a sale. So this is definitely a little bit over half the price of this little bottle. And this in this Maybelline one you get 0.27 fluid ounces versus this Benefit one, you get 0.1 ounce. So you definitely get a lot more product through the Maybelline and you're paying half the price. If you um, are looking for some sort of a brow product that's gonna make them darker, make them appear thicker, I think this does the job well enough. And I really like the hold of this one a lot better than this one. So this one, I feel like it doesn't really give a really good hold. Um, this one does. This, this feels like hairspray through your brow hairs. If you don't like that, you won't like this product because it does make them your brows kind of stiff. Um, and I really like that because I have longer brow hairs. Um, so for a product to keep them in place all day long, um, I'm all for that. So this, this is why I love this product. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate how these apply. I'm going to start off using the Benefit Gimme Brow. I don't have anything on my brows right now. I'm just going to apply the um, product directly onto my brows. Um, and this is what the wand looks like. It's very tiny and it has very small bristles. And it just picks up the product in between the bristles. And so I'll go ahead and use um, go on this brow. I don't have anything on my brow. I'm not planning on um, even filling them in just so you can see what it, it does. But because when you pull the wand out, you still have a lot of product and I'm not wiping anything off, I'm going to start off at the tail of the brow because I like that part to be the darker, the darker part. Um, so I'm just going to run this through the brows. And as you can see, the little wand just kind of brushes through the hairs. And um, I like to brush up to start building the product. I do notice if you touch the skin, the tint of the um, brow gel or whatever this whatever kind of cream product this is um, kind of sticks onto your own like skin and it sort of does fill them in and then the little fibers do attach to um, the brow hair and so I'm just brushing it through and then combing it out and I like to stand these hairs up here in the front to make it look a little more natural okay so that's it with the Gimme Brow. As you can tell, it, it's significantly thicker. My brow pretty much looks instantly fuller um, and well put together. It, it's, it's a good product. So that was with the Benefit Gimme Brow. Now on the other side, I'm going to be using the Maybelline. And this one has a different applicator. This is kind of like a little spatula with little bristles on it. Um, and the product is a little bit more um, liquidy. It's more like a, it's like a thicker cream, but it's definitely a little bit more liquidy than the um, Benefit Gimme Brow. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna start off here at the tail of the brow and then work my way to the front. So, um, the one thing with this wand is I can say because it's a little bit bulkier, um, you have less control as to where the product goes. 
Um, so you do have to be mindful of that and be very careful. The fact that the Gimme Bra has a smaller wand allows you to have more control than this than this wand. I'm just brushing it up with the wand and I can already feel it setting. I can feel that it's kind of toughening up already. So you do want to move quickly. I like to brush them up so that I can get the fibers underneath um, down towards the bottom of the root of the hair to make that part look darker. So that's where I find that my brows look most sparse. So you can see there on um, on the screen, or I can see on the screen, they both look more filled in. This side does seem a tad bit um, darker, um, and it could be the tint of the um, Gimme Brow. It might be a darker tint than this Maybelline one. They both look very defined. They both look a little thicker. They both look more filled in than they did um, prior to applying any product. Um, I wouldn't say that they're exact dupes because the results are not exactly the same and the finish is not exactly the same. Like I said, this Maybelline side one, it feels like hairspray feels a little more tougher versus this Gimme Brow gives a little bit of a softer finish. Um, however, I won't justify being able to spend $24 on this product when this product does a pretty close um, job as to this, pretty similar results um, and for half, more than half the price. So I'm definitely going to keep repurchasing this one. I'm not going to keep repurchasing this one. Um, so those are my thoughts and my comparison of these two products. Hopefully you found this um, review helpful in case you were looking into buying either or. Um, and you can see how they performed. And if you have any suggestions of any other products that you would like me to compare from the lower cost to the higher cost, um, let me know and I'll be more than happy to go and try to dig those up and uh, make a video on them. And if you have any questions, leave them down below. Otherwise, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe before you leave and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.